Today, we're gonna to revamp the profile of a front-end web developer. We're gonna identify what he's done well and what can be improved about his job title, how can, we, how can he position himself better in order to get more profile views, in order to get more invites to jobs, how can he adjust his about description, and what other features on his profile can be changed in order for him to change, get, go from rising talent to top rated plus and beyond and actually get invited to jobs and consistently find clients on Upwork. If you want me to revamp your Upwork profile personally, click the link below and sign up for an Upwork Mastery course or Freelance Family Man membership and I will be able to do a deep dive into your profile as well and give you suggestions for how to better position it, how to better word some things so that you can get the visibility that you want on it. And really quick, the membership program is something that I just launched. It includes not just the Upwork Mastery course, but a freelancer accelerator course, a monthly coaching call from me, and ongoing support with any concerns and questions that you have as you are on your freelancing journey. I encourage you to check that out because if after the first 30 days you're not satisfied with the training or support, you can get a refund and you can cancel your membership at any time. So there's no risk to you. It's only $59 per month for the membership, $37 for just the Upwork course. Um, so go ahead and check that out in the links below if you want to get some, some more customized coaching from me. And of course, as part of it, I will revamp your Upwork profile. This Upwork profile review is from this freelancer signing up for just the Upwork Mastery course. If you sign up for a membership, I do a, an even deeper dive into your profile um, and do some competitor research. So first, let's do a check on his job title. What I like to do with this is go over to a new tab and type in front-end web developer and see what comes up from other freelancers and how they are wording their job title, the ones that are showing up on the very top. Um, front-end web developer is, so when you're, with web development, I've noticed that it is pretty common that you just start your job title with whether you're full stack or whether you're front-end, uh, whatever tends to be your approach with it, like front-end developer, front-end developer. Um, and so far what I've noticed, okay, front-end web developer. Uh, front-end developer seems to cover it. Um, without having the word web in there. If you can keep it shorter, the better. Um, Front-end developer, full-stack developer, expert in web development. Um, and I have noticed that many of these are in the $20 an hour range. See, that that's hard when you have a country like uh, India, which is taking up most of these spots. Um, and there's a lot of good web developers there, but they're all charging 20 an hour it does make it hard to compete unless you can really set yourself apart. Um, now looking at jobs, okay, this job post, for example, just says front end developer. They didn't pot bother putting the word web in there. This front end web development, front end web developer. And then it specifies the specific type. Um, Okay, like in here, I see Next.js, and he's got Next.js, so that's one of his specialties. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm looking at what kind of wording other freelancers are using that are ranking near the top, and also what the job posts are using. Um, in the end, that's all that really matters when it comes to titling your, your job post. Um, so there seems to be a mix of using front-end web developer versus just front-end developer um, but both are being used I'd say for the sake of space maybe just change this to front-end developer and it looks like this is not supposed to be one word because then it looks like front-end I'm pretty sure this needs to be separated into two words and yes that will affect the SEO on your upper profile that will affect its ability to show up because the algorithm is now reading this as one word and is not actually sure what word it is. Um, so separate it. It looks like most people have it separated as two separate words, but sometimes they have a dash in the middle. I'm seeing the dash in the middle more often than not. So I would probably change your title to have front 
dash end both capitalized developer and just not even use web for the sake of space so that if somebody's scrolling on a phone or something they can also see your clarifier here um, and it's not getting cut off because I think it's good that you have this you have your specialty most of these web developers have some kind of specialty that they list in uh, their profile title Webflow expert, UI, UX, Angular, WordPress, Figma to HTML. Um, now, I would say if you have any of these other specialties that these guys are listing, um, you know, whether it is you do cover UI and UX or any of these specific platforms that maybe you list that as well. Right now, you just have Next.js and TypeScript. And if this is something that you want to really just stand out for, that you're really good at just these two things, um, then by all means, have that as part of your job title. So, I mean, overall, your job title is not bad. It's following a structure that the job posts and other top freelancers in the space are using, or you start with front end developer, but I think you can take web out and you need to separate this into two words. And then you could probably just keep this the way it is. Um, you know, and have that separator line there. Um, but you only, you'll know whether, you know, if this really is a, a niche of yours that you like to focus on this specialty, Next.js and TypeScript, then by all means, leave it there. If there's other things that you can post that you can put here that are more commonly included in job posts for front end web development, then maybe take a look at that instead. Now, looking at your about description, first of all, I congratulate you on having a profile video. Very few of the profiles that I've reviewed have a video. So we're gonna take a look at that in a minute. Um, it's got a nice thumbnail, so that's nice. Grow your business with website. You're focusing on the result. And over here, first sentence of your description. Do you want to grow? Let's zoom in here. Do you want to grow your business with a website or mobile app? So that's good that you're hitting right to the client's main goal. Do you want to grow your business with a website or mobile app? What I would challenge you to do is um, that would be the client's goal B. So I've talked about this in previous videos. Every client has the goal of growing their business, just without a doubt. But they have goals in front of that that really are the are the are the more is the aim for them behind every job post so when the when your client posts a job for front end web development they're not necessarily thinking of i'm posting this job so i can grow my business they're not thinking of it that generally they're thinking of it as i need to post this job so that i can increase my website traffic or so that i can increase conversions on my website or increase engagement on my website um, or reduce bounce rates on my website. They have specific results they want with their website that is in front of the overall goal of growing their business. I encourage you to figure out what that is for who your target client is. If you work within a specific industry mostly, which I suggest so that it helps you to stand out. Um, again, there's a lot of developers and a lot of them are charging 20 to 30 an hour. I think your skill is worth way over 20 to 30 an hour, but sometimes you can't compete when there's people in India who are really good at what they're doing, but they're only charging 20 to 30 an hour. Um, but if you can serve a specific industry with your website development, maybe it's healthcare industry, maybe it's the personal development industry, maybe it's the financial industry, whatever it is, you'll be able to stand out within that industry and sell yourself at the higher rate because of being a specialist within that industry. Um, so I think you're fine with your rate and having, you know, the value that you have, but you've got to pitch, um, why that is. So good start with this first sentence, but change it to be more specific to, do you want to increase your website traffic, um, with, or just leave it at that? Do you want to increase your website traffic, right? They already know that you're a front end developer. Um, so, or just, you got to figure out what your target client wants. And that's just getting to know them more, doing some research, talking to them, um, and then revamp that first sentence a bit so that you are identifying their uh, more immediate goal, 
as the leader here instead of the overall goal of just growing your business. I spent over five years in the tech industry creating and enhancing web and mobile applications. Um, I think with a follow-up sentence, instead of just focusing on how many years you've spent. Um, okay, so you're saying here in the tech industry, so there's a specific industry that it looks like you've chosen as a niche, but I think it just needs to be worded differently of um, uh, that this needs to be roped into this first sentence somehow. So you could say something like, are you in the tech industry and want to increase website traffic? Are you in the tech industry and want to increase engagement on your website through my front end development techniques and my focus on Next.js and TypeScript, I can help your business grow through, um, or you've, yeah, you've already said that. You know, so in, so in some, you know, you know where I'm getting at, that essentially you're bringing your industry niche of the tech industry into the first sentence and tying it into their more immediate goal and then how you're going to do that through your services. Now, you know, this, this is overall good. You have my achievements, you have some, um, of your main accomplishments here, which is fine to have in the next paragraph. Um, what I do build high quality, scalable, user-friendly website, and mobile applications. That's a good, you know, punchy sentence summarizing what you do debug and maintain existing apps, lead and mentor teams, my favorite stack. Okay. Your specialties here. That's good. Please check out the video on my profile presenting my personal approach to website building. And that's good. And you provide a call to action. It looks as if you've watched a couple of my other videos <laughs> um, and you've already made some changes. So this is good. And you have the call to action to go watch your video because that will also help you to stand out, which is that video. And yeah, you're not overdoing it here. This is a good overall length and good separation here of these different sections. Um, just this first paragraph needs the most work and it has to do with again, approaching the, uh, mentioning the client's more immediate need or their goal a roping in the fact that you specialize in the tech industry all into that first sentence. And then, you know, sealing it up with the fact that your front end development, um, and maybe what your unique approach is to it is the solution to what that goal a is. Um, okay. Now looking at, uh, your now, cause you are a rising talent and I'm not seeing work on here completed yet. So, I mean, you're, you're brand new on Upwork and you may need to take a couple of jobs at the $30 an hour range, a couple of small ones just to get those profile reviews and ratings because of being brand new that even if you're very skilled, unless you can write some stellar proposals with really solid portfolio pieces, which you may be able to, I do recommend even just taking one or two smaller jobs at the lower rate, just to start priming the system here with, uh, ratings and reviews to help bump you up here. And that will help you start to get more visibility on your profile and more clients. So the last thing we're going to look at is your profile video. So let's take a look at that. Hello, I'm Sarah from Tech Creator. In today's video, I'll explain how to make a website. So you decided to make a website for your business, but you aren't sure where to start. Here are three things you should consider. The cost, how much money do you have to invest in Okay, for the sake of time, I just edited out most of this video, but I went ahead and watched all of it. And what it does do well is it helps the client during the planning process of figuring out how they want to go about their website development. Um, so you're almost coaching them a bit in what questions to ask. What are their top priorities? Is it simplicity or cost or customization? Um, so that's good that you provide a bit of that coaching to them. Um, one thing you could add to this video is a little bit more education on, um, you know, cause you talk about here, how to make a website, uh, something I would add to your video is a little bit more education on 
how you're titling this video, which is how to make a website that maybe provide a little bit more tips on how you go about actually making it. Um, I, I, I like when these profile videos have some education to it, um, they tend to be more effective. And yours has a bit of that, uh, but it focuses a lot on, on just kind of how you go about your services, which is fine too. And it's fairly fancy how you went about creating this. Um, but I would also mention your target client in this profile video. If you work in the tech industry, bring that up in this video so that you can remind them, hey, I specialize in the tech industry. So if you're in this industry, that's where I can really shine with my web development services. So um, besides that, overall, again, uh, pretty good for a brand new profile on Upwork, minus the couple of tweaks on the job title and the beginning of the about description and those couple of tweaks in the video. Um, overall, you, you're good in that you have uh, some portfolio pieces here to show what you've done, even if it was outside of Upwork. Um, and it looks like they map, they align with these achieve these achievements that you have highlighted here. So that's good. And you have the specific skills that you're trying to pitch as your thing within front end web development. Yeah. See, um, front end development Upwork uses this phrasing for the skill. You need to use that phrasing. That was something else I was going to mention is besides researching what other freelancers are using in their job title, besides researching what the job posts are using, look at what Upwork is using as their wording in the skills selection and go with that for your job title. And now Upwork will rank your profile higher because it's going to more easily match this. So front dash end all caps development. There's no web in there. So yeah, so this just verifies what I suggested at the beginning. Take web out of it, separate these two words, put a dash in the middle, and that should be how you're structuring the first part of your job title. And for any freelancers out there, do that research as well to see what, what Upwork is using as part of the skills that are in their system um, and use that um, wording in your job title. Like next.js may be how you need to word it up here instead of like that. Um, so um, hopefully that's helpful to you. And again, if anyone else wants a pro Upwork profile review, click the link below, take a look at the Upwork Mastery course or Freelance Family Man membership, and I will review your profile personally. Have a good day.